Hey everybody, this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity. It's blinking yellow. A blinking yellow means that you can go if it's clear. Anyways, this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity coming at you with another moto vlog. Just uh, getting some wheel time on the SV650. Trying to get used to how it rides. It's probably an important part. Uh, one thing I noticed about this bike is that uh, it, it doesn't mind uh, low RPMs. Uh, and it's got plenty of torque to do that, so yay. But that's not what I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to talk about Canada. Yes, Canada. <laughs> Everyone's like, what could you possibly talk about about Canada? Well, Canada is our northern neighbor with a friendly border. And uh, I kind of just asked them, hey, uh, is it time to ride bikes up there yet? And uh, the answer was no. Uh, one of the pictures they sent me on the, on the Canada Ruckus Group was uh, like super snow. Like he said, this is a road and it just looked like a white screen. So uh, I couldn't really tell uh, that there was even a road there. So that's bad. And then some other people were talking about how it was negative 7C where they were at. I guess that would equal a no. I feel like if it was negative 7C and you were riding your motorcycle or your scooter or your ruckus or whatever, that you would like instantly freeze. Like parts of your body would instantly freeze. Uh, what was that movie? Is it Day After Tomorrow? I forget what the movie was called, but there was a movie where they had the like where everything froze and it had Jake Gyllenhaal or whatever his name was in it when he was like a kid and and stuff like that. But yeah, that's what I feel like it would be like insta freeze, like oh no, you're dead, frozen. And then there was other people saying that it was five out where they were at, five degrees, and I'm assuming uh, Celsius because talking about uh ooh, this, this new seat feels so much better uh five degrees and then some people were out riding and he said he wouldn't be surprised to see some people out there riding no way like that's still pretty cold right 32 is freezing so if zero is 32 then five would be no well yeah you're right that's probably somewhere around the 40s or something like that that would be my guess. Maybe the, yeah, maybe the 40s. Okay, so I can see that. I ride in the 40s. So. <laughs> but yes, I would like to hear some feedback as to, because here's what I've noticed. The more the north unfreezes, viewership goes up. And it has spiked pretty high as far as viewership, especially the ruckus videos. Everyone's coming out of hibernation. And, uh, I wanted to see if people were riding more or getting their stuff ready to ride. That, that's what I would imagine. But it is, it is pretty high right now. So I'm trying to keep the content coming. Uh, another thing I want to remind everybody is uh, my mother-in-law. Uh, I did make a Facebook community post, but uh, I'm not sure everyone sees those or pays attention to them. So my mother-in-law has brain cancer. I'm just going to summarize, and she uh, stopped digesting food about four days ago, and she hasn't been on IV or getting any liquids either, so basically she's had no food or water in her semi, well not semi, in her comatose state for four days, so uh, I just want to let everyone know that my wife wants me to make a video of you know, a montage with music and backgrounds and possibly narration and stuff like that. So, uh, let's see if we can uh, make that happen. But just while that's happening, uh, I won't be able to make videos. I'll have to focus my time 100% on that. So I don't want everyone to think that I've abandoned them. 
I doubt that anyone would think I would abandon them, but I guess my fear is everyone will forget. Oh yeah, I forgot about Caesar. Didn't he make videos? He hasn't put out anything in like four days. That's so 2019. But yeah, I want to be able to make sure that that happens. Uh, I also started a new, uh, I might start a new position next week too, or this week, probably this week. So yeah, that's going to be crazy. Going back to work again, right? No longer a full-time YouTuber. That's weird, right? Everybody loves a, a YouTuber, but I guarantee you, even if I was single and lived at with my parents, uh, <laughs> what I make off of YouTube, I would not be able to do anything with still. <laughs> like, for real. I mean, I only have like 4,400 subscribers. Oh, yeah, here, another thing. Um, I made a video on April 4th of 2019. And I set it to premiere on April 4th, 2020. It's called a time capsule video. And uh, it's getting close to that date. So uh, kind of uh, keep an eye out for it. I don't even remember what I recorded, but there's a lot of uh, predictions I made in there that I wanted to. <laughs> okay, I don't want to do that again because apparently I wasn't holding on to this handlebar very well. <laughs> oh, that freaked me out. But it was exhilarating. <laughs> yeah, but you guys hear that beep buzzing sound? Yeah, that means I'm going over 60, which means that it's going to buzz a lot in just a few minutes because I'm going to try to get on the freeway and make a little bit of a loop. But yeah, time capsule video. Uh, it should be out. Um, it'll automatically release on the 4th. So, be prepared for that. I want to. I, I don't want to watch any of the preview of it. Because I don't want to spoil the, uh, the surprise. Because I really, literally, I forgot what I put on there. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> below 60 miles per hour. Ah, sorry. Just ignore it. Pretend it's not happening. You can't hear it, right? <laughs> I should have put it on 70. Can I, can I change it to 70? Oh, there you go. I changed it to 70. There we go. was awesome. See, GPS's can be handy for uh, when you're riding around and you don't want to know that uh, and you oh, and you want to know that you're uh, going too fast. Although really what is too fast? I mean, just the law tells you it's too fast, right? And who are they to tell you what's too fast? not like I pay them my tax dollars or anything like that. Boo! Anyways, I went to exit at the last free exit of this toll road headed towards Tomball. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of an update, talk about Canada, talk about uh, my mother-in-law and the situation, and then the situation. <laughs> and then uh, talk about, um, does anyone remember the situation from Jersey Shore? <laughs> Or was that that long ago? No, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then talk about uh, the time capsule video. I'm pretty excited about the time capsule one. And then I'll set up another one. And I'll do, like, guest bits. I wonder if I predicted that I would have a big bike. Huh. I know it wasn't this bike, for sure. Okay, well, I'm headed to the U-turn. So, thanks.
thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for paying attention to a moto blog. I know moto blogs aren't my most popular subject on this channel, but uh, I like to make them, and it kind of gives me the uh, ability to give people updates as to what's going on in life, right? Anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see everybody.